Alright, time for a Mordekaiser game. I will be playing against the Namumu here, which is a very easy matchup, honestly. Like, um, he will not be able to fight me pretty much throughout the game. So I should be fine for the most part. I will not invade him. I'm just going to go for a full clear. He's probably going to go for a full clear as well. And uh, it's going to be fairly equal on that front. But 1v1s, I mean, unless I'm really low on HP, I think a full HP against full HP, I'd pretty much always win. Just a champ advantage on that one, really. Uh, yeah, I'm going to clear towards top lane here in the early game because Darius doesn't have teleport and an early gank might be possible. Um, apart from that, I mean, we're going to wait and see. I also have a good angle on the gank opportunity here on Varus from mid lane because you have this little bit here that you can walk around and get a good gank on him. So look for those two in the early game and then after that we can maybe look for bot lane with like ult and stuff like that. But yeah. Uh, for Mordekaiser here, we just want, basically always want to go for a full clear. This champion needs his levels, needs his experience. You just get in that full clear and you should be very well off for the most part. Keep a cl consistent clear going. Mordekaiser is very quick at it, so... You have two options here. You can actually pick your shield or you can pick your E. E is faster clear speed a little bit and your shield will just keep you much, much healthier. Which is the one I tend to prefer. Like the uh, extra HP just makes things way easier overall. This is actually a little bit awkward. Okay, that's going to die to burn damage. We can just start moving now. Good. Also, another thing. 60% uh, of people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed. If you are one of those people, consider subscribing. Checking if you're subscribed. And yeah. You can see right there, the shield base pretty much prevents me from taking damage from this camp at all. Like, I'll just not take any damage in the first place. I'm going for clear here. I'm finishing the full clear, so we're taking another point in Q instead of E. Use your shield right as they're about to hit you. Just like let the shield time out, it's fine. There we go, just walk it out. And then on this one, you basically just get the Gromp in there as fast as possible. You can use your shield here as well to tank a bunch of the damage from the two of them and just chill. I'm a tiny bit worried about Darius now, actually. Okay, he's not coming. Good, good. I saw him missing off the map and I was like, whoa, 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 wait a second. That could have been bad. Get this down. I'll actually hit the plant because I think he warded anyway. Yeah, he did. Interesting. He got clapped. Oh, I can actually just go gank this Darius anyway. Actually, I will go for the Varus. No, he's going to back. Okay, we're just going to go for Darius then. I was about to say I can just go for the Varus here, but it's if he's going to instantly walk away and then the uh, Quiana just comes, like, it's just whatever, right? Please take a fight. Okay, good. This should be perfectly acceptable. Thank you. I appreciate that. Maybe he shouldn't have ghosted there, but that's both of Darius' summoners gone. We're just going to insta-push this wave out. Doesn't really matter if I get the farm or not. We're just going to get the wave into the turret as literally as fast as possible. Good job. Good gank angle there. We instantly knew where his ward was, so we could just walk all the way around. As long as Irelia takes the fight, which she did, uh, it should always really work out in that situation. I will take a Dark Seal here as well, since I have the money for it. First item we're rushing is Rylice. The boots we're going to get for free anyway. We're rushing Rylice, combining that with Approach Velocity to pretty much be permanently on top of the target. So that's a very effective thing to do. Plus Rylice is very cheap as well. It's only 2600 gold total, so it's a very easy, cheap item to rush and it's extremely effective for the use. So... Eh. Very, very effective item to get. Get that thing done fast, and you will be a golden. I could look for a bot gank here. They recalled, that's fine. If they would have cancelled their recall, I would have walked bot lane right there. But they didn't, so it's okay. No, I think the Amumu might look for a Q over this wall here. 
of the entire camp. And I should be able to kill the Umumu here, I think. Oh, he just did six. I need to run. Oh, she missed. That's rough. Yeah, that level 6 right there from that Varus was not good. Yeah, at least I trade 1 for 1, I suppose. Interesting that the Kai'Sa is actually here for that. Take these two minions and I'll just leave the rest for my Kriana. That's okay. I got two kills out of that, essentially. Very surprising that the Kai'Sa actually is the one that rotated there, honestly. Didn't expect that one. Gonna get the scuttle. I could take this plant over this wall. Let me just take a good look. The ward. What the heck? Uh, I'm worried, actually. Not because of Amumu. Okay, there he is. I wasn't necessarily worried because of the Amumu. I was just more so worried. Oh, no. She got hit. We are as ult. We should be able to win this. Wait out his bleed passive. I didn't do that right, did I? I was about to time it with her ultimate. I killed him, but yeah, I didn't do that right. I wanted her ult to go off and then that like him to be stunned and then I could just insta ult and kill him for free. Mm, maybe I should have just not ulted there. Held my ultimate in that situation. Talk about close. I mean, I'll just push out the wave. Kind of have to here. I really want mid lane anyway. This is acceptable. I still killed the Darius. Like, it's overall fine, but... I don't know. Probably wasn't necessary to ult there. There's no way he tries to fight me here. I got my Rylai's good. I mean, we are looking very solid overall at the moment. I can get another full clear in here on top of that. So we're looking very, very good. All right. Varus has three kills though. Interesting. Did I really have died? Did I miss that? He could have died there. We're talking about some exhaust or something, I was like... Either Varus got away on low HP or my Relia died. I have Rylai's now, so this is really good. My boots should be kicking in very shortly here, like, yeah, 20 seconds. Very good there as well. My chase potential is going to be through the roof at this moment in time. So I'll have to blue smite to initially close the gap, and then with my passive, they just never be able to run. I'm going to go for Bolt Scuttle here and Dragon. There are the boots. Didn't think so, buddy. Oh, my Queen isn't walking up for that one either. That sucks. I'm actually going to just hold this wall. No, let me get my ultimate. Oh my god, man. Dude, I was spamming that ultimate. You have no idea. The fact that my uh, Kuyana actually didn't even rotate for that one for the longest time kind of sucks. But the most annoying part is there is that I just literally wasn't allowed to get my ultimate off. Like, I was spamming that thing so hard and I just could not get it off. A flash. That's a dead Alistar, actually. And a late heal. Not bad. That ends up being okay, but if I would have just been able to get my ultimate off like sooner there, that would have been really, really good. I just, I just wasn't allowed. I really tried, but I just was not allowed to do it. Does he walk up the turret here? He doesn't, but I'll take the wave anyway. Ah, 
Oh, I'll take the next wave as well. Why not? There we go. It's acceptable in this situation. Ferris does have a double buff back now because of me, unfortunately. God. I wish I could have just gotten that ultimate off, man. That would have been real nice. Ulti Alistar, he does no damage to me. I can just kind of chill. I need to uh, go towards this dragon, actually. I'm clearing my camps down towards it right now, so I can go get that. Ideally, I would like to kill the Varus at this time, at this moment. But I don't know if it's going to be a good possibility, honestly. How long on Kuyana ults? 15 seconds, okay. Man. Kind of still running bot, okay, I guess. That's fine. I think Amumu's going to use that thing on mid. Yeah, I don't know about this one, Kuyana. Better get a double kill out of it. I didn't use it in time. I'm not happy. He should still be dead easily, but like... Oh, exhaust. Yes, of course. Man. <laughs> oh, damn. I would have actually killed him if not for the exhaust. That that, that damage difference was definitely there. Unlucky. I mean, it's not a big deal. Like, he still dies. I wasn't worth a shot down there. He's worth a shot down there. So I'll happily take the trade. Like, I'm not complaining about that whatsoever. It's just unfortunate that I had to die there. I would have definitely killed him there damage-wise if not for the exhaust. But it's okay. The Kuyana shouldn't have really rotated bot lane in that situation, honestly. Like, she could have in easily turned around and killed Varus right here. Very, very easily even. But, eh. It is, it is what it is. We lost mid turret off of it. Uh, the overall trade's not bad because the shutdown from Varus went to the Kuyana, so that's pretty good there. Easy kill. How long on Kuyana ult? We're gonna have to... Do not go for the wave. I beg of you, do not go for the wave. Okay, well, she's coming now. She got the wave. Team, I, please. What are you doing, fam? Why are we standing 30 miles back? What is going on? <laughs> Yo, what the hell, my guy? That's a combo and a half right there. Dude, what is, hap what is happening with this? Where is my team? Please, man, anything. Anything at all. Jesus. What is my team doing? Where are they? Why are we standing this far back, man? It's not that big of a deal. God. I'm starting Dragon. I don't even care. Holy. I don't know why we're just standing there looking at each other. Like, we had so many opportunities, like, to actually do something. Okay, nothing there. That's fine. All right, we got there in the end. We got there in the end. It's all good. Keep the clear going. Hit level 11 here. That's very good. I should almost be at the... Uh, yeah, Sunfire is getting pretty close here. Oh god. I'm gonna just run bot lane. I think my ult is gonna be straight on Kai'Sa and we should be good. I'll go for the Alistar in this situation, why not? 
Don't have to uh, ult here because that doesn't make any sense. Very good. Easy cleanup. If I ult there, it doesn't make any sense because like we had we have such a colossal advantage over them in that position. And with the Kriana ulting them into the wall and everything, there is just no way I should ult there. I'll take the uh, camps I can from the Amumu right now. And then we'll look for something afterwards. I'm probably going to actually recall right here because I have a Sunfire. Doesn't really make sense not to recall right now. You don't have to upgrade Magi's either, by the way. You can kind of just chill on this. You can just let it sit there. Or the Dark Seal, sorry. Upgrade to a Magi's. You don't have to do it. Because, I mean, you can literally just chill on the... Uh, on the Dark Seal and it'll be a very effective AP item regardless. Like, if you have that on a couple stacks... It'll out, like, as soon as it has 10 stacks, it'll basically, like, be a large roll anyway, with, like, 40 extra HP, so definitely not bad to s just sit on if you have some money for it. Any AP champ will benefit. Should probably go top lane here, I think. Oh, God. I have no idea if I can help the guy, but I will try my best. Nope. That's not possible. I was too far away. Get back here, fam. Where are you going? Get rid of this Amumu real quick. Save my teammate. Dead. No problem. Just get him out of the way as fast as possible, really. Make sure that the Mumu has nowhere to go. And he can't hit my teammate anymore, because my teammate was very close to dying there, so... And we are looking good. We should be able to pick the Rift Herald up here. We're looking very, very strong right now. Just need to get to the Demonic at this point, and I'm gonna do... ...so much. Like, it's gonna be very hard for them to deal with me. One minute thirty on that dragon. I'll sell my potion here and get the uh, giant's belt. I think for the next item. We're going, demon we're going demonic, so I could upgrade my magis, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna sit on it. It's perfectly fine. Build will be up. Ghost will be up for that fight. Should be no problem. I think my highest priority ult target would be the Varus if I can get him. If I can get the ult off on Varus, I think their team instantly loses that fight. No, you have teleport, never mind. I pinged, but she has teleport, so it's okay. I think we just killed Darius here, actually. Oh, this is... Misfortune! You. This should be an easy kill. Unless she does that. Is he gonna get away from me? Nope, come on. Get back here. Not happy about the situation overall, though. It's a bit of a chase that I wasn't hoping for. But... Miss Fortune should be able to wave clear mid. Yeah, I probably like, I didn't want to ult him straight away. Maybe I should have, but he used Ghost and Flash to get away from that position initially, which, eh, you know, I don't know, kind of eh, kind of awkward, honestly. I had to use my Ghost to chase, and then my I probably didn't have to use my ultimate because with the blue smite and then also the Rylize plus the uh, approach velocity, he could not outrun me there anymore. But eh, eh, kind of feels bad, really. Having to use all that for a guy that was so far out of position. Gonna hit level 13 here, which is good. I'm taking the red buff. What the hell are you talking about, fam? You have literally nothing. Zero and one, like, come on. Okay, I understand I have Rylai's and everything, but even in that situation, like, me having a red buff is still better. If she would have been more fat, then, well, yes. But, you know... 
Not really in that boat, are you? I have 300 gold for this. I'm just gonna take midwave, I think, honestly. And I need how much gold? 220. Eh. I guess I can take my Krugs for it. I have to keep in mind that my Rift Herald's gonna time out soon. Hmm. Not ideal. The Monarch in 100 gold. So I'm gonna do this camp quickly, recall, and then probably just place the Rift Herald out of base and hope for the best. Okay, I can get the Monarch now, that's good. How long on Rift Herald? 34 seconds? Oh god. Ah, she's dead. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to use it. I'm not happy about it, but it is no there's no choice. Fight me, Grump. He's slowed, he's dead. Gotta protect the Rift Herald. As long as this guy dies, we're happy. Shoot. He's not dead? Oh my god. Misfortune does no damage at all. That's rough. I'm actually very surprised he didn't die of that one. You are not serious, my guy. Oh god. Okay. Not even close. Probably should have tried to force a little bit harder on the Varus there. Maybe I would have been able to get in range, but I honestly did not expect Misfortune not to kill with that ult. If I'm being honest. I really wasn't expecting that uh, Varus to survive that one. Not here, and it's also not here. Ah, uh, we could probably Baron, but I have no smite, so it's not worth trying. Not right now, at least. Rather get my recall off. Look at their team. Respectable amount of AP damage from them. I mean, I could just go stone plate next. Like, it's a very good all-round item to pick up. Oh, God. Please get out. Please just leave. Thank you. I'll take it. I'm gonna go stone plate here. Double resistance is gonna be great. We're just gonna get that right now. Last item. I'm not 100% sure yet, but stone plate is very good because I stacked so much HP already that stone plates couldn't have a lot of value but, uh, because of the resistances, right? It's level 15. I suppose we could just walk up to it. I don't know about this situation. Got a dragon coming up in like 30 seconds. I think I prefer that one. I'm just gonna ghost actually. Screw it. Let's go. Get over here, Varus. You are gonna die, buddy. Nothing with your exhaust. I didn't think so. I'm going for dragon. Oh, nope, we're fighting this fight first. Nope, I'm going for dragon. Take Dragon, kill Darius, that's the idea. Misfortune is trolling, like this is on her for dying if she dies here, I don't care. I'm 100% prioritizing Dragon, if she's not running away from the fight, then that's up to her. His Darius is gonna do absolutely nothing here. I'm finishing Dragon first and then we'll look for a play. Good flash actually. Very good flash even. Well done from Zyra. All right, sure, I guess. 600 gold for stone plate. I'll take the red buff again. 
might have to smite it in this case. Okay, it doesn't seem like it. Stormblade's gonna be an absolute... Oh, God. Okay. Not as big of a deal as I thought it was gonna be. I thought our, uh, the dude was caught there. There. I can't actually show Bolt. I have to just run up here. Do we have a blue trinket? Just gonna die. We should be good here. I'm gonna ult anyone that gets in range here. He's already dead. I don't think Amumu can do anything anymore. There we go. Baron. I focused the Amumu with my ultimate there because as soon as I killed our jungler, Baron's free. There's no reason not to kill our jungler with ult. Not a giant fan of tanking Baron because I think I do by far the most damage to it. And the ones tanking is going to do 50% reduced damage to Baron. Oh, Zara plants are tanking now. That's actually good. There we go. Baron's dead. And then we just take a recall for the stone plate. Last item here. I mean, I have several options, really. It just depends. Like, you can get just an extra tank item. It's perfectly fine uh, for more HP, more tankiness. Like, a force of nature here could be something I get. You get a... Um, Thornmill actually for healing reduction would not be bad either. Thornmill be very good here. Could even go like death cap if I wanted to, honestly. There's plenty of options here to be fair. I could do Nasher still if I want to as well. A void staff is unnecessary because you have your like E passive really and for the most part that's fine. I mean I could still get void staff as well, to be honest, if they really stack magic resist, but they aren't really doing that either, so. Most likely, I'll look for... I think a Thorn Mill in this situation is very good. Ah, uh, okay. Probably should have been in a better position for that one, being real. I think I should have been able to get him. What the heck? Alright then. This is fine. Go, Kaisa. I'll just tank these turrets. I don't really care. I'll tank this as well. I don't care at all. Okay, that might be a little much. I just run. <laughs> he really tried. I still had stone plate as well, so I wasn't that worried, but... Yeah, at some point, you don't have to worry about anything anymore if you're Mordekaiser, right? It's a good meme. Well, there we go. That's it for Mordekaiser. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button below. It helps me quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I had to add on the damage stats on the end here. I ended up doing... 27.6k damage, which is double the rest of the game, basically. Very good there. True damage to champions at 1600. Damage to objectives at 35.7k. Very good as well. Healing done at 12.5k. Damage taken at 28k. It's also the most. Self-mitigated damage is 35.6k. Cold earned at 15.6k. And for the runes, Conqueror total healing of a thousand. You, of course, don't see the adaptive damage here, but that's a significant amount as well. Last time didn't do the most this game. This game, I wasn't really low HP that frequently, so still a little bit of extra damage, but not the most. You can also obviously opt for the uh, Coup de Gras instead of Last Stand here, if you uh, think that's going to be the case. Approach Velocity, a hefty amount of time hasted. Very good combination with a Rylai's Rush, because, well... They just don't get away from you, especially like Blue Smite into like a Rylai Slow. Like they're just going to stand on top of you the entire time. They can't get anywhere. And that's, if you have Ghost as well, it's just even easier. And then the boots for, uh, well, free boots, really. So, yeah.